Jim, what do young people worship today? What do they believe? What do they hang on to? What do they hope for? I can't speak uh, for young people, but uh, probably um, a guess would be the same things they've always uh, celebrated, just kind of a, a joy of existence, uh, self-discovery, uh, freedom, that kind of thing. Well, there's always been a generation gap in every age, but the gap now seems to be much more of a definite cleavage. The young people today seem to feel and think differently. Mm -hmm. What do you think has brought this about? <clears throat> well, possibly it, it could have a, a strictly sociological basis. It could be uh, the uh, uh, the gener so-called generation gap could be a result of uh, just larger numbers of young people. Uh, I think it happened after World War II. Uh, I think it's something like uh, over half the population in the United States now is uh, under 18 years of age, something like that. Politically and philosophically, the young people now seem to feel very definite ideas about the establishment, mm -hmm. old systems of governing people, and, and moral attitudes. Yeah. When I was in high school and college, uh, the kind of protest that's going on now was totally unheard of. Uh, at that time, uh, to be a teenager, to be young, was uh, uh, was really nothing. It was kind of a limbo state, and I think it's amazing. Just in in the last five years, what's happened is uh, young people have come increasingly aware of the power and the influence that they have as a group. It's really amazing. Does it surprise you that there is so much revolt on the campuses of this country against Washington and its policies? It really surprises me because, as I, as I said before, when I was growing up and in, in I was in school, it was, uh, that was totally unheard of. You know, students really had no power. But if you look back in history, uh, it seems to bear out the fact that Every revolution has started with students and spread to workers, and uh, I'm not predicting that there's going to be a drastic turnover in this country, but uh, uh, all the indications are there. Life does seem to become more and more involved and complex. You know, we're becoming computerized and dehumanized in that process. That bugs me. I wonder how it bothers you and your generation. There does seem to be a, a trend toward a return to a kind of uh, primitive outlook on life, a more tribal attitude, and uh, I think it's a natural reaction to industrialization. But uh, unfortunately, I think it's... Uh, it's kind of naive because I think uh, the future is going to become increasingly mechanized, computerized, as you, as you call it, and uh, I don't think there's any turning back. It's just figuring out a way to survive and thrive in that kind of society. But I don't think there's any, uh, any chance of, of going back. And uh, look at it this way, too. The uh, the hippie lifestyle is really a middle class phenomena, and it could not exist in any other society except ours, where there's such an incredible surfeit of uh, uh, goods, products, and leisure time. Uh, I think that's that's the reason for it because the generations immediately preceding ours had uh, uh, world wars and uh, depressions to contend with, and uh, for the last ten or fifteen years in this country, it's uh, 
there's time enough and there's there's money enough to live a, a kind of a flagrant uh, outrageous lifestyle which was impossible before Jim, there's a line in your book of poems which reads, The cleavage of men into actor and spectators is the central fact of our time. Well, I think that's undeniable, but I wonder, hasn't it always been that way with society? I suppose it has, but um, it's uh, with mass media and all today, it becomes more immediately apparent. I think what I was concerned with in that book was the fact that most people feel completely void and helpless in controlling their own destinies or con controlling the destiny of human life and uh, I think it's uh, it, it's sad more people should be involved rather than uh, designating all these uh, powers to a few individuals I think the uh, the average person whatever that is should should be a part of it somehow and I, I think everyone feels that events are just going on without their uh, knowledge or control I think it's uh, one of the tragedies of our time I, I suppose it has always been that way but now it's it's just become so obvious you know decisions are made for you in which you have no part of at all